presented by Lawrence Technological University, where Blue Devils dare. Also brought to you by the Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan Army National Guard, a proud partner and official military branch of the MHSAA. My Student Aid, Michigan's go-to resource for student financial aid. Hungry Howie's, famous for flavor. And Sneff Camp Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, serving Metro Detroit since 1926. Welcome back inside the State Champ Sports Network studios on the campus of Lawrence Technological University. I'm Jenna Skelsky, and you are watching Michigan's only statewide high school sports show, State Champs. I'm Lauren Plant, and we're presented by the incredible institution of higher learning that is Lawrence Tech. This is your home for the best high school highlights. A dozen games coming your way over the next half hour. Big matchups in cross country, boys soccer, girls swimming, and our main event features a huge matchup in volleyball between Bloomfield Hills Marion and Farmington Hills Mercy. It's a huge game on the football field, though. Key divisional matchups taking place all over the state this week. Let's go. We begin downriver. Homecoming at Allen Park as the 3 and 1 Jags look at a rebound following a tough one point loss to Trenton a week ago. Easier said than done. 4 0 Woodhaven came to town looking to put a damper on any celebrating the Jags were thinking about doing. The reigning co league champs got into the end zone. Quarterback Josh Waters coming off a solid performance in the win versus Wyandotte a week ago. Bulls his way for six. Warriors had an early 7 0 advantage. About two and a half minutes ago and a half. It's going to be romantic Kaiser with the rock, and I gotta tell you, there's a lot to love with this kid. Slicing and dicing his way through the Jaguar secondary. This was starting to get ugly. Would have it up 21 zip. But on the very next drive, and in quick succession, the Allen Park offense woke up. This drive only took about 30 seconds off the clock. They fed a steady diet all night long, handing the rock to their workhorse, Nico Tiberia. He walks in, and at the break, 21-14 Woodhaven, but momentum with Allen Park. And it was starting to feel the homecoming faithful might be right. After a clock munching, well executed drive by the Warriors in the third, looking to make it a two score advantage again. Waters pass deflected and into the hands of Emilio Baderas. Threat ended. Fourth quarter now, and Allen Park knocking on the door themselves. The quarterback sneak successful. Jags fought back from a first quarter 21 0 deficit to bring themselves within a point at 21 20. After a penalty pushed the ball closer to the goal line, they went for two. Gajeski can't hang on to it. Warriors still have the lead, although of the narrowest margins. And that's the way it would end. Woodhaven gets a big road win, 21-20 the final. I'm Kevin Trzynski, and we go to Detroit for this public school league matchup in football between Detroit Central and Henry Ford. Central would light up the board late in the first quarter. Central's QB Jeremiah Bridgman zips the ball into the hands of Kenyatta McKeever and he will punch his way through to the end zone. 7-0 Trailblazers, the Trojans threatening in Central's territory. Senior quarterback Marlon Davis rolls out and will connect with senior Cartier Polenitz, keeping his feet inbounds for the score. Trojans up 12-7. More from Davis and Polenitz. That 31-yard score has the Trojans pulling away 20-7 going into halftime. The second half felt like a different game with the rain coming down in buckets. Elijah Granger calling his own number on the QB keeper and he will hit the end zone untouched. Central's Orlando Clarkson would add two more TDs to the board. Trailblazers up 27-20. Time running out now in the fourth. Davis hits his favorite target, Polenitz, in the end zone. The Trojans could tie this game up with a kick attempt, but they would go for the win. Willie Reynolds has his eyes set for the end zone, but the Central defense shows up big getting the stop as Detroit Central defeats Henry Ford 27 to 26 the final. I'm Jason Hutton from the West Side. We got an undefeated battle in the West Michigan Conference 4-0 Oak Ridge at 4-0 Montague. No scoring until the first play of the fourth quarter. Four-year varsity player Leroy Quinn in from 12 yards out, and the Eagles grab a 7-0 lead. But just over four minutes later, Montague answers. Junior quarterback Drew Collins going to keep it himself and go five yards. This game tied at seven, and we go to overtime. 
with that score. Oak Ridge got the ball first in the extra session and they go to Quinn. Three yard tough touchdown run gave the Eagles a 15-7 lead after they converted a two point conversion. So Montague got a score. Collins looking to pass hooks up with senior Brennan Schwartz in the side of the end zone. Makes it 15-13. Wildcats need a two point conversion to force a second overtime. On the two pointer, Collins gonna run right and the Eagle defense equal to the task. Sophomore Corey Vanderput leads the charge. Oak Ridge wins a thriller in overtime, 15-13. At Allendale, the three and one Falcons hosted the three and one Cedar Springs Redhawks in an OK Conference crossover. First quarter, it's Owen Burke, the running quarterback, 42 yards for the touchdown on fourth and three. His dad, head coach Ben Burke, has seen the Air Force commit do that a few times. Cedar always had an answer, though. Fullback trap. Nobody's really sure who's got it. Turns out Nathan Mayle goes 41 yards for the score, and this was a 24-12 Cedar lead. Once again, Allendale answers the throwing quarterback, Adam Hadovy, to Ross Mingo. 42-yard touchdown pass, and the Falcons were once again back within six, but Cedar too much on the ground tonight. They give to Ben Shaw up the middle and into the end zone. Cedar springs a winner, 48-39. Redhawks improve to 4-1. and one. Let's go to girls swimming. See, we respond to the fans. We got a Facebook message about a good swim meet to cover Tuesday night. Kalamazoo Loy Norix at home to take on Battle Creek Lakeview. We start with the 200 medley relay. Battle to the end between the anchors. Emily Snyder of Lakeview and Ellie Lepley from Loy Norix. To the right of your screen, Snyder gets to the wall first for the victory. We go up top for the exciting 50 freestyle. Another good one up until the end. Middle screen, Anika Schnell for Loy Norick, barely beating out Schneider for the win. The breaststroke once again, another fight to the finish. Alaya Marshall of Lakeview, Lucy Wallace of Loy Norix. Right of your screen, Marshall edging out Wallace by less than a second to get the W. In the butterfly, Schnell looking to win this event in a close one with Hannah Vanderhei. Middle of your screen, Schnell is going to come out the victor in this one. Finally, to the 200 freestyle relay, Maya Moore for Loy Norix pulling away in the end, and Kalamazoo Loy Norix edges out Battle Creek Lakeview to get this victory. Today, we're gonna to show you how to become a registered MHSAA game official. It's easy. Start by going to the MHSAA website and click on officials in the heading. From there, click on the big red letters that say register now. If you've never officiated with us before, click on become an official and fill out all of the requested information. After you've done that, just answer a few questions, including agreeing to a criminal history check select your sport, and pay the registration fees, which are among the lowest in the nation. You'll still need to pass a general exam and fulfill some general principles of officiating requirements. Next, get connected with the local officials association. It's the best way to get trained, get games, and get you started in this new adventure in officiating. Every year, we need at least 1,500 new officials. So join us, and if you're unable for whatever reason, you can help keep our new officials or for that matter, all officials, in the game by showing them respect for just getting out there. Think of every game as a four-lane highway. There's one for players, one for coaches, one for officials, and one for fans. So fans, don't cause an accident, stay in your lane. Let the coaches coach, the players play, the officials officiate, and just enjoy the game. For more information, visit our website at mhsaa.com. Helps wanted, just whistle. Listen up high schoolers, we want to see your school spirit. Each week we're going to be picking the top five schools who go above and beyond to showcase their love for their school for the State Champ Spirit Challenge. All you have to do is post a video on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter using the hashtag SCSpirit. It can be a video of your band, the fans, cheerleaders, or the mascots. Again, use hashtag SCSpirit. Good luck to everybody and let's see who brings their best. I've always been really good at math and science, and I knew I wanted to work in healthcare, but not as a doctor. So I chose Lawrence Tech's biomedical engineering program. I've pushed myself to take internships, like this one, at a hospital in an orthopedic research lab. Thanks to Lawrence Tech's unique, hands-on style of education, I'm graduating with a published research paper and a job. Lawrence Tech, where Blue Devils dare. 
Need money for college? You need My Student Aid. My Student Aid is the go-to resource that helps Michigan families find money to pay for college. Plus, they'll guide you through the financial aid process and answer any questions you have. For grants, scholarships, and more, connect with My Student Aid. Helping make college affordable for everyone. Learn more at michigan.gov slash mistudentaid. You do know you want a contest to spend the whole day with me, right? Mm-hmm. And you just want to see her eat this delicious pizza? We could do other things. Mm. 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 A little help. Mm. the best day ever! Some people will do anything for flavor. Now get a meal deal to fit any budget at the home of Flavored Trust. Hungry? Howie! Hi, I'm Cameron McDougall. And I'm Alicia Cotter, and we are Riverview High School's homecoming king and queen. Now let's get back to the highlights on State Champs. I'm Jeremy Otto, and we headed to the Huron League as it was homecoming for Riverview as they played host to the Milan Big Reds, who came in undefeated at 4-0. Milan would get it going right from the start. Opening play of the first possession, the senior Tristan Hines on the quarterback keeper slips off a few Riverview tackles and goes in for the 36-yard touchdown. Big Red's out to a 7-0 lead. Riverview coming in at 3-1 would respond early in the second. It's sophomore Ben Johnson who powers his way in for the three-yard score. They would get the two-point conversion and win at halftime leading 8-7. But Milan would answer to start the second half. It's Hines going in for his second rushing score of the game from six yards out. Big Red's back out in front at 14-8. It would be all mile in the rest of the way. It's that man Hines once again for his fourth rushing score of the night. Big Reds now up 27 to eight. Then right before the end of the game, Milan would add one more. It would be the sophomore Colt McAvaney who gets the handoff and see ya, 75 yards to the house. Milan goes on to win 33 to eight the final as the Big Reds remained undefeated at five and oh. I'm Jake Vandenberg from the Northeast Michigan area. Let's take you out to Hillman, where the Hillman Tigers hosted the Mile Thunderbolts. The very first play of the game, Gunnar Melton takes this handoff, and he is going to go 63 yards to the house. The Tigers strike first, but here come the Thunderbolts. Brandon DeFlorio finds Drew Hess, breaks some tackles, and he is able to find his way in for the touchdown. Two-point conversion good, and we're all tied up at eight. Next drive, DeFlorio. What is he going to do? He's going to move to his right, and he has no one open, so he's going to take off and run with it, and there he goes. Goodbye. The Thunderbolts take the lead, but miss the two-point conversion as they're up 14 to eight. Early in the second quarter, Nash Stank drops back, takes a shot down the field as he was looking for Sean Hannigan, but this ball gets tipped and intercepted by River Wisen. And it looks like he'll return it for about 15 yards, but no, think again. He's gonna keep this play alive by cutting to the left, and there he goes. He takes it back for six more. Mayo snaps Hillman's undefeated streak as they win 34 to 14. I'm Chuck Pellerito, and we head now to boys soccer where we had a Mac White matchup. The 9-0-1 Anchor Bay Tars hosted the 6-3-1 Gross Point North Norseman. The Tars came out hot early on in this one. First 10 minutes of play. They've got the ball deep in North Territory. Matt Mazzia with a quick pass to a hidden Ryan Glinski who goes top shelf giving Anchor Bay the early advantage. Anchor Bay getting a penalty kick with 20 minutes left in the first half. It's Tanner and Carson Hodgson line up to take it. Tanner takes the shot and sneaks it in, and the Tars are up two halfway through the first. Halfway through the second half, the ball is cleared out to Ethan Welchner, and he will turn on the Jets. Take this one himself all the way down the field and bury this one in, giving Anchor Bay a 3-0 lead that would go on to be the final as the Tars remain undefeated at 6-0-1 in league play. This is Alan True from 24-7 Sports with this week's State Champs Recruit Report brought to you by My Student Aid. Wisconsin had a big home win over Michigan last Saturday, and the Badgers hosted some Michigan natives for that game. Two of them, Detroit Cast Tech Junior Twins, Kobe King and Kalen King, walked away with scholarship offers from the Badgers. 
Kalen, a five foot 11 cornerback who has also made some plays as a receiver this season, was the defensive backs MVP at the opening regionals in Ohio last spring. Kobe is a physical six foot 210 pound linebacker prospect. Both brothers have nearly 30 offers apiece now. Birmingham Groves' Ralph Donaldson picked up an offer from Northwood this week. Donaldson's having an outstanding senior season as a running back, in addition to his more recruited spot of safety slash linebacker. He's also a standout on the track, and that foot speed should bring more schools his way by season's end. For this week's State Champs Recruit Report, I'm Alan True. The Recruit Report is brought to you by My Student Aid, Michigan's go-to resource for student financial aid. Go to michigan.gov slash mistudentaid for more information. Hey guys, just wanted to remind you to check out the candidates and vote for your favorites in our state champs, Hungry Howie's Mr. Football and Anvil Award contest. But more importantly, check out the weekly discussion of both awards online exclusively for our digital audience the great Sean Belisian gives you the 4 one one on the Mr. Football race, and the Hall of Fame coach Tim Beckler talks the candidates in the running for the Anvil Award. Both of those conversations available at our website and on social media. Remember to vote. East Lansing wide receiver Andrell Anthony currently leading the vote for Mr. Football. Dearborn defensive tackle Ali Saad leading the Anvil vote. Neither one can be removed from the race right now, and if they win at the end of the season, they will have a 20% advantage to win both awards. Go vote, then watch the conversation and let us know what you think. I'm on the Blue Devil football team, and that's a great place to be because other colleges wouldn't let me be both a football player and a nursing student. And just because I'm a dog on the field doesn't mean I can't take care of people. And man, do I love people. The small class size at LTU can give me awesome access to my nursing professors. Lawrence Tech, where Blue Devils dare. The ones who wake up every morning ready to take on the world. The ones who push their limits to be better than the rest. You're looking to join a team of leaders who want to be challenged. You want to be pushed to your limits. You value freedom and think you have what it takes. The ones with speed, strength, intellect, and determination. Michigan Army National Guard, we see you. You do know you want a contest to spend the whole day with me, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. That was the best day ever! Now get a meal deal to fit any budget at the home of Flavored Trust. Hungry? Howie! State Champs High School Sports Show is Western Michigan's home for football highlights. State Champs High School Sports Show. Your team, your game, your highlights. I chose Lawrence Tech for its architecture program and its volleyball team. Architecture is a great fit for me because I love math, design, and technology. And at Lawrence Tech, we begin designing in studios right from the start. Lawrence Tech, where Blue Devils dare. I'm Michael Leitis. We head to a rivalry in the Mac Red. The undefeated, reigning, and defending D1 state champions of Chippewa Valley hosting the Cougars from Macomb, Dakota. The Big Reds get it going with the run game in the form of Myron Harris. He takes it 43 yards for the score, chip up 7-0 after one. Waning minutes of the first half, and the Big Reds get some more breathing room. Again, it's Harris, his third touchdown on the night, as Chippewa heads into the half with a 27-7 halftime lead. Second half, Dakota starts to catch Chip on their heels. They get two straight unanswered TDs, this one from QB Zach Droski to Clinton Robertson. Nice first step after the catch for six more, cutting Chippewa's lead to 27-21. Last remaining seconds of the game, Dakota with one last chance down six. But Chip's Quillen Housey bats it down as Chippewa Valley holds on, keeping their undefeated record intact at 5-0 as they keep the superintendent's trophy for another year with a final score of 27-21. 
I'm Kevin Trzinski, and we go to Memorial Park in Royal Oak for this OAA cross country meet. And we start with the girl. Leading the way on the second lap is junior Tessa Voss, but out of nowhere, Birmingham Grove's Alyssa Biederman finds herself in second place. In the end, with over a 30 second lead, Biederman finishes first for Groves at 20 minutes, 33 seconds. Oak Park takes the team victory. Groves took second just a point away from first, and Berkeley would finish in third. Now to the start of the boys' race. Controlling the pace on lap one, we have the Oak Park duo of Chris Thames and Kamari Cooper out front and Wes Bloomfield's Dan Seastat close behind in third place. We had a shakeup for the lead on the next lap. Wes Bloomfield's Chris Seastat taking command out front and the Oak Park duo Thames and Cooper still in the hunt for the win. Seastat finishing in first at 16 minutes 54 seconds. That helps Wes Bloomfield capture second place in the team standings and North Farmington would get first for the boys. Time now to take a look inside Lawrence Technological University. My name is Chris Briest. I'm an audio engineer and I'm the director of the audio engineering technology program at Lawrence Tech University. Well, I think a lot of people getting into this field are a little bit unsure of the possibilities and the outcomes that are available for them. They might feel intimidated by the cost and the time required to get a bachelor's and to go to school at a university like Lawrence Tech. I'm Hope Sheffield, and I'm a senior in the Lawrence Tech Audio Engineering Technology Program. It turns out that this was a lot more than just producing music. It also had a lot of electronics courses. It was really the perfect combination of creativity and also being technical at the same time. I'm Brandon Wheeler. I'm the manager of acoustics at Harmon International for our car audio division. And I am a graduate of the Lawrence Tech audio program. I started actually as an instructor last year for the uh, system integration class. So that was my first experience actually being an instructor, but uh, I was obviously a student in the program for four years. So I think having some of that experience really helped me as an instructor, understanding what I felt I now know in the field and what I can bring to students now, you know, hopefully going into the field in the future. When we first started the program, and there are very few in the country that encompass not only studio work, but also all the university work that you'd get in a normal university environment. There is a wide variety of jobs they could do. Audio engineering is vast as an industry. And as people become more aware of that, I think that helps build that sense of security that this is an industry that they can succeed in. Check out Lawrence Tech. It's easy. Go to ltu.edu today. What you see here on TV only scratches the surface of the content we offer online. Go to statechampsnetwork.com or visit any of our social media platforms for extended highlights and special shows. We have our scout show and our all junior show where we are giving love to the juniors all year long. Again, go to statechampsnetwork.com to check out all these shows and more. I admit it, I love working with money, negotiating, and making big decisions. That's why I'm majoring in finance and economics at Lawrence Tech. What's truly amazing about the education here is the small class sizes that give me easy access to my professors who truly care about my future. They even helped me get a great internship. And I was able to fulfill my lifelong dream of playing college golf. Lawrence Tech, where Blue Devils dare. You do know you want a contest to spend a whole day with me, right? Mm-hmm. And you just want to sit here and eat this delicious pizza? We could do other things. Mm. 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 A little help? Mm. the best day ever! Some people will do anything for flavor. Now get a meal deal to fit any budget at the home of Flavored Trust. Hungry? Howie! State Champs High School Sports Show is Southeast Michigan's home for football highlights. State Champs High School Sports Show, your team, your game, your highlights. School sports fans, this week we scrapped the gridiron for the volleyball court. Back in 2017, the Marion Mustangs beat the Mercy Marlins at the state semifinals. Both of these teams are itching for the state title. 
but as we know, the road to gold is filled with plenty of conference matchups. So let's see how the Marlins fare against the Mustangs at this week's main event. Ring the bell for this main event between Catholic League rivals Farmington Hills Mercy and Bloomfield Hills Mary. First set, Mercy in the far court. One of the top junior setters in the state, the Michigan State bound Julia Bishop, here feeding fellow junior Ellen Tisco the fish on the board. Mustangs with a great deal of underclassmen on the roster. The freshman setter Ava Sarafa, the set to the sophomore outside hitter Ava Brizard. Mustangs trailed 22 to 20. But the Marlins would triumph. Bishop to the Miss Volleyball candidate Jessica Merzik puts it down for the kill. Mercy goes on to take the first set 25 to 21. But the second set would once again go to Mercy. Bishop with the pass to Charlie at TMO who crushes another kill. She had 11. Marlins up two sets to nil. So Marion trying to avoid the home sweep. Sarafa to another freshman. Regan Sass getting sassy. But this was Mercy's night. The Michigan bound Mercy back in the swing of things, slamming her team high 15th kill. Farmington Hills Mercy takes round one, sweeping Marion in three. Time now for the MHSAA Clip of the Week. We go back to the pool. It was a great ending in the 100 breaststroke between Alaya Marshall of Battle Creek Lakeview and Lucy Wallace of Kalamazoo Loy Norix. It would be Marshall that would get the win by 0.12 seconds, however. And that's the MHSAA Clip of the Week. You know, state champs is always about celebrating all sports, and that will always be our mission. Thanks for watching, and please join us again next week. In the meantime, stay connected with us on all social media all week long. And we will see you. State Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University, where Blue Devils dare. Also brought to you by the Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan Army National Guard, a proud partner and official military branch of the MHSAA. My Student Aid, Michigan's go-to resource for student financial aid. Hungry Howie's, famous for flavor. And Sneff Camp Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, serving Metro Detroit since 1926.